Hello everybody. Oh, it's beautiful weather. It's uh, lockdown 2020. And I'm here where I would be anyway, in my workshop, at the back of my garden. Relicking. Look at that. This is the scratch build. Um, it's a Jaguar hybrid Strat Jaguar. That's been happening today, relict that. Let's give you some more of that neck. Wow, look. Ooh, yeah, checking. Checking, melting, uh, chipping, scratching, all that fun stuff. Look at this, look how this turned out. You might have seen that yesterday on my diary. Just been working on this neck today. That's been done from scratch. All the frets, all of the relicking that's all we're done today got some really nice you can get some better camera work really nice checking really nice wear and tear and overall a stunning guitar i'm sure you'll agree Qu quite heavy not everyone's taste but you can't please everybody why would you try uh here's another nice thing a nice shiny but also crazy thing remember i was posting yesterday and i was like oh yeah this is what i'm going to be working on today well look how far we got in a couple of days pretty happy with that um pre-ironed relic uh, anodized gold pit guard bound all parts neck all relics all looking super sick funky awesome new tuners on it relic drilled placed ready and house of tone pickups inside that one. Oh my god it's gonna be amazing not only looking stunning but sounding world class um here today we're working on a fender avri gold body i'm just getting to grips with this relic as you can see it's under the spotlight amongst all the tools and the mess why would you want a tidy workshop when you've got a messy one? And here we've done an AVH strap. We're going to route for Floyd Rose. That's coming on soon as well. Pretty sick. None more 80s, as I said on my Instagram the other day. None more 80s than that. Um, this one here is for a guy in Holland who's very nice. Probably one of my biggest fans. At the moment on the Instagram and Facebook stuff, he's got a really nice strat in the works with the Marzio pickups twinned. And um, his neck is looking pretty sweet as well. It's a, it's a ebony stained board and it's nitro satin finished. And it's just had a bit of a buffing so it really feels like a cross between a maple neck and an ebony neck. And it's... I don't know, I just really like it. It's kind of like that Brian May Red Special vibe. I just wanted to do something different. Um, it was a pretty nice neck to begin with, but I wanted to make it a bit more special. It's got very nice jumbo frets with rounded edges. What are we doing? What's coming up? Stay tuned because soon... Oh yeah, oh! oh. It's okay, it's gonna be a relic. Oh, that's what I tell myself every time I bump something in here. And it happens often because you can see these are very low ceilings. Um, but this is going to be um, a non-dusty Paul McCartney Beatles bass for my very own bass player in my band and a very lovely guy. <laughs> Quite often pays my rent with the work that he gives me. Um, Mr. Joe Jones. That is going to be a stunning relic. We've got the original style Hofner mini decal here that you would have seen on the 61, 62 and 63 base. We've got a new decal for the one that's faded up here. And it's all going to be restrung with flat wound strings um, when they arrive. And it's going to be really nicely satined and relicked and chipped and oh, just lovely. It's going to look like a 100 year old instrument, not a 40 or 50 year old instrument. That's coming. What else have we got to show you? Ah. So for the gold one, here on the bench, the neck's already done. 
and that's this beast of a neck I'm sure you'll agree absolute beast of a neck I was pretty happy with myself the day I did that one um, frets just brilliant and uh, all of these things on the fretboard I don't know what you call them fingered wear yeah I just find it really I find it really attractive it's not for everyone as I say you can't please everyone you just got to get on doing what you can do so that's all I'm gonna reveal of my um, box of madness today I'll uh, let me get back to work and I'll let you get back to you know like hanging around at home in the COVID crisis uh, making cheese toasties uh, taking a beer at four o'clock um, what else are you doing? What else can I sense on my tingly, tingly things in the air? Cosmic tinglers. Hmm. There's definitely a lot of TVs on. <gasps> An Xbox. Stay away from those things, damn it.